cliche g'day folks and welcome back to hump day for humanity now obviously i love playing with my friends but i'm going to have a little solo play today which means i can actually let you know which ones i would choose without my friends hearing me say it so let's join a new game so we've got some very interesting players today smelly dyke pirate smelly testicle leah reynolds the spleen oh uh, so first up we got blank it's a trap. Well, incest and a defective condom would be. Whipping a disobedient slave. But which is the most inappropriate? This is what I want to know. I reckon inappropriate. Let's go incest. It is a trap. Go smelly testicle. Next up, I get to choose one this time. Yay! What is Batman's guilty pleasure? Could go crystal meth. Uh -huh, sexy pillow fights. Auschwitz. Now that's probably the most inappropriate but I'm gonna go crystal meth tiny nipples some kind of bird man or the boners of the ooh see the mine or the boners of the elderly there we go the spleen right next one blank high five bro uh, sexy pillow fights goblins the forearms of Vishnu. Hmm. It might have to be sexy pillow fights. What have we got? Gentle piercings. Dying alone and in pain or a spontaneous conga line. Yeah. Go me. It would have either been that or the gentle piercings, I'd say. All right. What is the next Happy Meal toy? Oh. Okay. We're definitely going Auschwitz because that's just wrong. Hot people, World of Warcraft, a can of whoop ass. That would, that would, yeah. <laughs> Only two things in life are certain. Death and goblins. <laughs> Concealing a boner. Ominous background music. My collection of high-tech sex toys. Oh, I would probably pick that one, I reckon. Or concealing a boner. There, yep, it's the sex toys. Smelly Dyke Pirate, two out of five. Oh, now I have to pick. What brought the orgy to a grinding halt? I've seen many, many, <laughs> the mall Santa. Girls that always be texting, self-loathing, Britney Spears at 55. Um, I think self-loathing would uh, definitely bring it to a grinding halt. What do we got next? What is the crustiest? Oh, fisting. <laughs> I could have saved that for something better, but... Ooh, panda sex. I still reckon it's going to be me. Come on, one more. One more choice. Someone's having trouble. Centaurs. What is the crustiest? Come on, fisting. Yes. In 1,000 years when paper money is but a distant memory, blank will be our currency. Um, full frontal nudity maybe? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Nothing, the heart of a child or a micro penis. Go me. <laughs> Played one round before this one. I did really badly last time. Coming to Broadway this season, blank the musical. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to get some bad cards here, guys. We're going powerful thighs. The musical. Erectile dysfunction. Or flying robots that kill people. Or my soul, the musical. It's got to be erectile dysfunction. I wouldn't... Ah, oh, really? Okay, flying robots. I probably would want to see that one, actually. I wouldn't want to see a play about erectile dysfunction. The votes are in, and the new high school mascot is... John Wilkes Booth, George W. Bush, mascot, $5 footlongs. Is that a Subway reference? God. Oh, Pac-Man. Yep. The Pac-Man card always gets it. Who's getting close? Either me or Smelly Dyke Pirate. Both got the three out of five. Why am I sticky? Science. A salty, ew. Making the penises kiss or getting drunk on mouthwash. It's got to be a salty surprise because that's just gross. 
Nice one, Smelly Dyke Pirate. Finally, a service that delivers blank right to your door. Cybernetic Enhancements. Hair gel intel. Yeah. It's I have nothing inappropriate. Moist. Oh, Robert Downey Jr. Okay. I would have gone for the moist one, but that's all right. This holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear of blank to save Christmas. Explosions. See, I'm having to choose the new ones because these ones are just poo. Uh, too much hair gel. Let's get rid of that one. Shutting the fuck up. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. It's got the F word in it. It'd have to be a winner. Smelly testicle, it's your choice. I reckon smelly testicle's gone AWOL. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Let's see if we get four answers here, then maybe not. What is that smell? John Wilkes Booth? Ew. Yes, a middle-aged man on roller skates. Why haven't I used that card before? Yes. <laughs> Come on, it's out of me and Smelly Dyke Pirate. And we got the four answers, so Smelly Testicle must be in there. What would Grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? Oh, a stray pube. See, it's the new ones coming in. Tasteful side boob. Boris the Soviet love hammer? Binging and purging. Ew. Tasteful side boob. Come on. I know that my idea the stray pube, yeah, but tasteful side boob's good. And no choice, it goes to the first one. They wait till zero. It's alright. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's blank. Now this is my turn to choose, so. Who fusses death scene? Penis envy. Eating the last known bison. Or. Yep, somebody's. Someone's missing. Alright, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's penis envy. Yay! Smelly Dyke Pirate won! Congratulations, dude. So there you go, guys. Uh, it's our uh, Hump Day for Humanity Wednesday. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. I do have to go now, but remember, say good day to your neighbour.